This week on our Discovering Fiji episode, we once again travel up the bumpy Sawani Serea Road to once again visit the village of Serea, nestled within the lush greenery and mountain ranges of Naita Siri. Did you know that bananas were a key driver of trade and commerce in some of the heartlands of the Naita Siri province during Fiji's colonial era? As you enter Serea village, it is hard to miss the remains of what used to be a large village enterprise, the first of its kind in Serea, that was established by the son of a Girmitia known among locals as Suklal. <laughs> First up on our trip, we presented our Sebu Sebu to the Turang Naitauke Weimaro Ratu Viliame Rarongava Rawilangi. We were permitted to move around freely as well as document and visit the village's historical sites. To top it all off, we were privileged to be given the tour by the Tauke Weimaro himself. Ratu Viliame recalled the several cooperative businesses own hundreds of acres of banana plantations all across Naitasiri and transporting the commodity along the river was a more viable option. Serea's strategic location of being along the Sawani Serea Road and on the banks of the mighty Wainimala River made it an important stop for travelers, villagers and farmers. An enormous rain tree grew meters away from the village and Suklal's shop. It was close to the river's edge and was ultimately developed into a kind of landing for bilimbili rafts and pans traveling along the Wainimala. The establishment at Serea had almost everything, from general groceries and supplies to diesel and kerosene pumps, a liquor station and a billiard table. A tailor by the name of Patel, who was originally from Bombay in India, also set up shop within Suklal's premises. As a result of the new roads, the Wainimala River ceased to become a major transportation route, and subsequently Serea gradually declined as a commercial center. The rain tree landing at Serea is far from what it used to be now. Ratupeni Ratayikalo, son of the Tauke Waimaroa, took us down to the banks of the Wainimala and showed us the site of the landing a few meters from Suklal's shop. The significance of the Wainimala River to Serea and Naitashiri is clear. Even though it no longer serves as the main transportation route for the people of the province, it continues to feed and nourish them to this day. Ratupeni, however, lamented the fact that developments such as gravel extraction, dredging and climate change had drastically impacted the health of the river. While Su Klaal's shop may today no longer exist, it stands as a testimony to the progress that can be made through the unity of two major races in Fiji and how the bonds of love and community can bring prosperity to a community no matter its remote location.